Hey friends, Isaac here. It's Tuesday, August 16th. Welcome to the Living the Dream Show with Kevin White. Kevin is a best-selling author, international speaker, and global brand publisher. He's founder, executive director of Global Hope India, and CEO of Spirit Media. Spirit Media. As a serial entrepreneur, Kevin has helped start hundreds of churches, businesses, and nonprofits throughout the world. Before starting today's episode, Kevin asked me to make sure you've heard about the Writers Club with Kevin White. Kevin just finished writing his third book in three years. He can help you write your first or next book. The Writers Club with Kevin White is a weekly small group via Zoom with writers for accountability and structure through coaching and collaboration. Learn more at spiritmedia.us. That's spiritmedia.us. Today, Kevin is joined by Temsala Bass of Nashville, North Carolina. Temsala is a sister in Christ, friend and board member for Global Hope India. Put your hands together and let's welcome Kevin and Temsala to today's show. Hey, hey, everyone. It is August the 16th, 2022, and I am Kevin White, and this is Living the Dream Show. I am so grateful for that introduction, and I welcome you. If you're watching on YouTube right now, I'm waving at you. If you're listening wherever podcasts can be heard, thank you for being a part of the episode today. This episode is about knowing your numbers. I love Shark Tank and I love business development. I've been an entrepreneur my whole life. I started my first company whenever I was 14 years old with a push mower and I was able to pay cash for my first car when I was 16 years old because I had this company of mowing grass. I've been building churches, nonprofits, and businesses my whole life, and numbers are incredibly important, but unfortunately, in the body of Christ, we do not know our numbers, and the Bible has these numbers. You just I want you to just hear me and Timsala and Kamar talk about the numbers in Scripture that you and I need to pay attention to in order to fulfill Matthew 24 verse 14. Listen in. (laughs) Jesus, in Luke 9, he's training the 12 and sending two by two, which means six teams, right? But immediately, the six people, when they went, they brought 72 in Luke 10. (laughs) And Jesus immediately training the 72 along with others. Who were others? There's 12. Can you see this? And he sent 72, two by two. So how many teams? 36 teams. They also brought 12. 12, six teams brought 12, it's 72. Six 12s are 72. 72, 36 team. They also brought 12. So 432, it's not there in the Bible. Mm -hmm. But 72 and 432, when you add, you get 504. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 6, when Jesus ascended to heaven, there were more than 500. Can you see this? How the multiplication is happening? Mm -hmm. But when he was ascended, means he was not, he was assisting in Luke 10, but he was watching in 1 Corinthians 15, 6. He He was watching 500, more than 500. And then what happened? Some fall asleep. But many are away. So assume 500 and send two by two. 250 into 12, 3,000. That is Acts 2. Acts 2, 41. Mm-hmm. 3,000 people were baptized on the same day. You know? So it's all the multiplication is there. Jesus model, assist, watch, and then he left. He ascended. Yeah. So same way, we need to model how to share the gospel. We need to model how to do discipleship. We need to teach them how to form a church. And then we need to assist how to reproduce it. Mm-hmm. If we don't practice, don't teach it. Yeah. So yeah. I practice in my own home to see whether the Bible says it's right or wrong. 
or is it going to happen in my life or not? You wouldn't believe. First one week, I shared gospel to more than more than 14 to 15 families. Nobody said yes to Jesus. Mm -hmm. I cried literally. And I said, I Lord, give me one person that your word can be fulfilled to make them disciples. Mm -hmm. The next day, immediately I went, I got one family. Mm -hmm. Ah, praise the Lord. I was happy. And along with him, I taught him about to share the testimony, taking them around in the villages. One month, you won't believe, more than 500 families I shared. And 14 people who said yes. These are the 14 people only I disciple in my house. That 14 has brought now millions of churches now. Mm -hmm. It's all multiplied. Mm -hmm. So there are people who come into my life and they said, brother, in U.S. it cannot happen. They told me. I started immediately praying. I went in 14, 15, 16, 17. I went to U.S. I went to Dallas. Not 50 homes. Only two homes opened the door for me. I shared the gospel. Then he said, they didn't accept. So what's the point? I said, the point is not about their acceptance. The point is our obedience. Yes. yes. God said, go. We went. So we obey. Praise God. Now, if God has chosen somebody, God will show us to us to disciple. Mm -hmm. Every portion in the life, you see, of certain people's life, we need to go. First, we need to go to tell the gospel. Mm -hmm. If they obey, then go for discipleship. If they obey discipling, then go for assisting. Then go for mod then watching it and launch him to different areas. So the, the word go is very, very center point. We must keep going, keep going, keep going until no place left. Yes. Yes. Amen. Um, I, I missed you said you must go for obedience. Once they've obeyed, they go for discipleship. What was the, the next yeah. one? The church formation. Okay. We need to gather them. You know, some yeah. say there will be a three, three, four houses in three different locations. And you are discipling. How how we can gather them? We can ask them which place will be a best place to gather. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you can change. First week, Mr. John's house. Second week, Matthew's house. Third week, Tamsula's house. Next week, Kevin's house. We mm -hmm. can gather like that. Yeah. It's not. It's not that it has and to be the gathering, fixed. One the place. gathering is where we encourage each other as well. Mm -hmm. You know, coming yeah. together, we yeah. encourage one another and we sharpen each other also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See? One of my favorite TV shows is uh, a show called Shark Tank. And it's a business okay. entrepreneur show and business investors are, are uh, listening to entrepreneurs as they pitch their ideas and their businesses to seek investments. And more over and, over and over and over and over and over and over, Kevin O'Leary, especially one of the sharks says, you've got to know your numbers. If you're going to succeed in business, you've got to know your numbers. And I've always struggled because I'm an entrepreneur and I love knowing your numbers. And then I look at the church over here and we are so flamboyant about numbers. We're, we're so casual about numbers. And a lot of churches you know, they don't even they don't even really have much measurements of their song of their success. They wouldn't even know what success would look like if, if it walked through their door because they're not even they're not even looking for numbers at all. And then you've got some churches that actually debate about multiplication. It's like it's like if we stay small, then we stay godly. And, you know, this multiplication is of the world. And yet Kumar just really showed a priority for knowing the numbers of the early church and 72 12 becomes 72 yeah. and 72 becomes 412 and uh, that becomes 3000 and there is multiplication and any living organism that stops growing begins to die yes mm -hmm. and jesus said i, I will yeah. build my church he didn't say, I'm going to grow it to a certain level. 
And <laughs> in 2020, he was building his church. And in 2021, yes. he was building his church. And in yes. 2022, he is building his church. And either you're joining him in it or you're not. Yes. And we want to call people to join him in building the church, to be church planning pastors, to be yes. believers that are discipling other believers, to be a baptized person that is baptizing other baptize uh, other believers. Yes. Yes. And, and a person, a person yes. taking communion that is administering communion to other believers. Sorry, I'm done. Good. What were you Sorry, saying? Kumar, nice. so no, nice I was feeling. going to ask Kumar to share the concept of the elephant and the rabbit. <laughs> it will take long. <laughs> but I made a very simple way so like this. I do, you do, let them do. I train, you train, let them train. I go, you go, let them go. So this is the yes. pattern. So go yeah. is very... The people ask me, what is your success? The my success ends with the word called go. Finish. Rest is all Holy Spirit taking place. Rest is all God's. I go and the rest is all Jesus. So my success will end with go only. So people like to hear success with big numbers, that numbers. I agree with that. But that's all God's. That's all Jesus. Mm. So Success if people go. can go. I love that. Yeah. I want that on a t-shirt. If, <laughs> if you can go, it's success. Yes. Finish. Yes. I yeah. think you should bring just, that t-shirt. Yes. Yeah. And put it on the website. Yes. 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 Successes go. Let's have that t-shirt. Well, yes. once again, thank you so much for this. I praise God for both of you. I praise God for this conversation. And I pray that everyone in the audience will catch this fire and put on a t-shirt. Success is go. It's Send so me a picture beautiful. of it. I love you all. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. So, hey, do you know your numbers? Have you heard the scriptures that Kumar just shared with us? Are you aware of the value God puts on numbers? Jesus used numbers left and right in his red letters that we read in the scripture. And you and I need to appreciate the value of numbers. Do you know your numbers? It's important for you to realize that you are one disciple. You know five people and you can surely lead three people to the Lord that can lead three others to the Lord. And by this, we will fulfill Matthew 24 verse 14. But if we continue to put the church in brick and mortar buildings, we are going to be another 2,000 years without finishing the task of the Great Commission. This is the Living the Dream Show. We are dreaming for the reality in Revelation 7, 9 through 12 of every nation, tribe and tongue, worshiping Jesus before the throne in heaven. And Jesus taught us to pray. Let it be on earth today as it is in heaven. I hope you'll be back next week for the Living the Dream Show. God bless you all. There are 3 billion people alive today who still have limited to no access to know about Jesus. Most live in the 1040 window. This is the rectangular area 10 degrees north and 40 degrees north latitude extending from North Africa through India, the Middle East, and Asia. For over 20 years, Global Hope India has been empowering local churches throughout India to provide access to Jesus. You can make a difference now at globalhopeindia.org. Thank you for listening to the Living the Dream Show with Kevin White. Don't forget to visit spiritmedia.us for the Writers Club with Kevin White a weekly small group via Zoom with writers for accountability and structure through coaching and collaboration. Visit spiritmedia.us today. Visit kevinwhite.us and join thousands of subscribers to Kevin's free daily one-minute motivation series called Generously Blessed. Kevin's books, Audacious Generosity and Get to the Point, are available in hardback, paperback, ebook, and audiobook at kevinwhite.us, worldwide on Amazon, Barnes & Nobles, and everywhere books are sold.
Your five-star review on Amazon will be greatly appreciated. This has been Living the Dream with Kevin White. Find the complete archive of all episodes at kevinwhite.us or subscribe for free through your favorite podcast player and never miss an episode. This program is copyright Kevin White International Incorporated. All rights reserved. Each week we bring you a message of living the dream as people of every nation, tribe and tongue worship Jesus together on earth today as it already is in heaven. Remembering the gift of God's presence through Jesus Christ is accessible to everyone. Join us again next week for Living the Dream with Kevin White.